Hey there, welcome back. I'm Sarah. I am your socially awkward seller and I thought I would do a little haul video. I went shopping today around um, Columbus, a few different Goodwills. I went shopping with Andy and we basically just devour a store when we go in. She goes one direction, I go another and we meet in the middle somewhere. Um, so what I bought today was mostly clothes, but I do have some hard goods to show you and I'm just going to show you whatever it is as I get to it because uh, it's just in a big pile here. I think I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of around $200-ish. I wasn't paying attention. Um, one of the things I bought was just some flatware. Nothing exciting there. Um, so, um, and these will be cross-posted on uh, Poshmark uh, and eBay. And this is a cute little um, Victoria's Secret nightgown. I think this must be a small or an it's an extra small. And let me just see. I think it feels like it's silk, but I'm not sure. And sometimes I don't, oh, there we go. Sometimes I don't know my fabrics. It is 100% silk. Um, of course, if you're interested in anything that you see here, you can always just send me a message. Uh, I'll leave a comment and I will get back to you quickly. Um, I bought this kind of for me. This is a Max Studio size large romper, um, or I guess this would be a jumper because it's long, got long legs, um, but it's really cute. I don't know if I can get into it yet. I'm still kind of at that um, extra large size, I think, but I am going to try this on later. And then if it doesn't fit me or I get tired of it or I'm too short for it or whatever the case may be, I'll just put it online for sale. Um, this is a Calvin Klein um, maxi dress. It's a size 10. Feels like it's a cotton um, polyester blend because it's got some stretch to it, like a jersey. But it's got this really cute detail. And... Hello, Pixie. Uh, um, oh, welcome, Pixie. Come here. Come here. Here is our kitty, Pixie. She never makes an appearance. She's awfully shy and she makes bird sounds. I don't know what that's all about. But uh, Pixie's making her debut. She's a tiny little thing. Like, she's like a big kitten. Uh, but she's actually full grown. And, uh, come on, man. You're killing me, Smalls. I'm trying to rub up against my tripod. Technical difficulties. Um, anyway, we just love having Pixie here. She's a sweetie. Um, this is just a little shaper top for myself. Come on, Pixie, quit! You're killing me! All right, maybe she'll get her groove on somewhere else. Yeah, now I know how Jack Hanna feels. Gosh. All right, I think she's going to go out of the room. I bought this brand, this is American Rag Company, and I've never bought them before because I don't think they sell that well. But I wanted to see. I wanted to see if the stuff would actually sell. And this is just a cute little uh, animal print uh, extra small dress. Really adorable. Fully lined. Perfect for summer. And winter is here on the Game of Thrones, but summer is almost here. Spring is almost here. This is a medium cachet. Is that how you say that? adorable orange pleated dress with this gorgeous um like leopard print at the uh, bottom i love this it's got a cute little orange belt i swear it really doesn't look like it's been worn um i paid 5.99 for all the dresses today this is a loft size four 
and um, it's got these like I forget what what you call this kind of ribbon is this scabardine no I don't think so I don't know uh, I don't remember but it's got this raw edge detail at the top beautiful like watercolor type flowers muted flowers in shades of gray and black really cute super cute super super cute still loving me some clothes but i must admit i do love some hard goods let me just tell you um i bought a lot of ninja kit master prep um like that whole blender um not blender food processor system and i parted that out yesterday i have already sold one piece of it and made my money back which is awesome this is a size 6 Aiden by Aiden Maddox. Never heard of this brand before, but it looks like it does pretty well. And this is a, uh, a black, a sheer black over a nude skirt. I'm so good at showing these clothes, aren't I? Um, gorgeous skirt. And as every girl loves, it's got a little bit of tulle, a little crinoline underneath it. Really, really, really cute. Um, this is the first soft surroundings I've found in a while. A little bra strap. Um, just a cute little dress. Jer like a jersey type material. Very soft. It's got the, the little medallion. The little charm on the back. This is a large v-neck tunic dress, I guess. I don't know my stuff yet. Y'all just have to bear with me. Okay, um, this is not Art Deco, but it's an Art Deco style mirror. Um, look at that pretty, pretty detail. And chrome, look, look, do you want to see how dirty the room is? It's an utter nightmare. Anyway, um, in chrome, and I just thought this was really pretty. I paid four bucks for it. I probably will list that around $25, but again, it's not... It's not vintage. It's just pretty. Um, it's a, you know, just de art deco and styled. Here's a pair of Lucky, Lucky brand men's jeans. Um, they were actually in the women's section, but they're a size 40 by 34. So I really got those because of the size. I didn't realize they were, like, because they were so big, I didn't realize they were men's jeans until Andy pointed that out. Um, here's a pair of Big Star, and these are the Remy Boot Low Rise Fit, size 31R. I have sold a few pairs of Big Star jeans. I don't find the, them all that often, and they're kind of like everything else, like Miss Me and like Seven for All Mankind and Seven, and they're, you know, they're taking a downturn since everybody knows to buy them now. I was on the fence with these. These are a Capri, and they're Ellie Tahari, and I thought they were just a little bit little old lady looking, but I went ahead and got them anyway. They're a size 10, and uh, I'm getting there. I might be a size 10 by late summer. Who knows? You never know. Miracles happen. Um, this is a... And, no, this is a Michael Kors, size 8. Look at that uh, dark wash denim skirt with these uh, metal buttons down the front that look brass. Very nautical looking. Uh, perfect for the lake house or on a cruise. Any of that. Cute, cute, super duper cute. I've uh, only got a couple of dresses left. This is, I have not looked this up. I don't know anything about this brand. Uh, Susie Chen for Maggie Boutique. This is a size eight, but I just couldn't get over how cute. I know I say everything's cute. Uh, this dress is. So look at this. With the floral bottom, great summer colors. And um, I could, I know this is not the right pattern, but I could totally see salsa dancing in this 
gorgeous. I think this is an A-line. Um, very, very pretty. Very pretty. I love that. I can't wait to get that listed. Let's see. This is a kimchi blue, and it is a size medium. Cute little cotton. It's like a cotton dress. Let's see. Ooh, anybody home? Oh, here we go. Uh, yes, it's 100% cotton. And somebody took up the straps. So I'm just going to let them out and iron that. And, you know, maybe if the next person needs to take them up, they can do that themselves. That's the thing about those kind of strappy dresses that um, don't, that aren't adjustable. Oh, that's not the last dress. Let's see. This is a uh, Bowden, and it's a size 10, size 10A, so 10 average. I do like the pattern on this. Uh, short sleeve, kind of a, a little bit like a shift dress, I guess. I don't know. Y'all educate me. Um, doing this video kind of later in the day because my husband is not here. My husband is actually overseas right now, visiting his family, and I opted not to go. He's getting um, like dental work and stuff done while he's there too. And let me just tell you how crazy it is that he can go over there, and, and it's true in a lot of countries, and buy antibiotics right off the pharmacy shelf. Like there's no prescription necessary, you can just go get it. I think that's just crazy. So I think I'll be bringing some home, um, if that's allowed. This is by Lapis. Uh, it's a one size, and it's like a tube top um, dress. So cute. And then it's got these little, like, drawstrings at the bottom. These ribbons that will ruche up the hem. They're just lovely. I love this color um, and the floral pattern on that. Uh, love, love, love it. Um, these were something I bet, bought like on the way out the door. They're just a Cherokee um, olive green um, short all. Cute. Size extra large. And uh, this is an Athleta swim dress. Really cute. Um, I wish I was showing it better. And a cute top in this like powder blue or baby blue. Look at that design down at the bottom. I think my arms need to be a little longer. Um, those are those are for me. I just bought me some sweaters. Some sweaters. Sweats. Sweats, not sweaters. Um, this is just Fila, like Fila Sport running uh, leggings. But I thought they were really, really adorable. And they were only like $2 and something. So I'll see if I can get 15 out of those. I don't know. Um, oh, so my nephew's getting married. So I've started, of course, thrifting because that's what I do. Um, and I picked these up for him today. This, it's a small wedding. And uh, these coasters say, eat, drink, and be married on one side. And then on the other side, you write adv advice for the newlyweds. Um, and then they, they go in a designated box. So I thought that was really cute. Uh, my nephew is... Gosh. Come on, man. 43? Something like that. Hey, come on. You're killing me. Kill me, Pixie. <sighs> okay, let me show you this hard good. I got four of these. They are not. They are um, a set. Um, they're. I'll show you all of them because they're really kind of wonderful. So it's this framed print um, with like this alligator faux alligator um, mat border. But look at this. That is fantastic. I paid three dollars each 
for these. And they are, look at that, just the best. Um, somebody will want these, for real. This one's a Dalmatian. How regal. These may have been done, clearly these are, are prints, just lithographs, but um, they may have been done by a famous art artist. I think that's a Britney. Is that a Britney Spaniel or a Cocker Spaniel? I don't know. But I just thought they were really cute. They're in excellent shape. One has a chip off its shoulder. Oh, oh. Um, let's see. Yeah, one's got like a little chip on it. But uh, overall, pretty condition, pretty good condition. I think um, I'm going to list those for like $99.99 and uh, then put best, off best offer and just see how that works from this, you know, as a starting point. I can always, um, I can always change that later. You know, that's, that's the cool thing about eBay. You can, you can be flexible. I just bought one of these the other day and listed it, but, um, sometimes these are long tail. Sometimes they sell immediately, but they generally always sell. This one's a little dirty, but it is your Sunbeam Oscar. And it's just this little, um, food processor chopper with, uh, and then it's got this bowl that goes on top and, uh, it is your slicer shredder, um, with the chute built in. And, uh, I usually get between 35 and 40 for these. You can part them out as well. Um, I paid $6 for that one. Let's see, we're getting down to the last bag. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I was feeling shoes today. So I bought several pairs. This is a pair of leather Aldo booties. Really good condition. They have like a um, alligator, snake skin, whatever, snake skin um, texture on that back part. And they're really good condition. Like maybe they were worn once. Probably because they hurt her feet. And I'm at the age, I don't know about the rest of you. Damn the bra strap. Um, I'm at the age where I don't give a shit about high heels and all that crap. Don't care. I don't want my feet to hurt. That's what I care about. Um, and if you ever notice, while we're on the subject of age, at what point in your life, if you're, I'm 50, um, at what point in your life did you start to steady yourself? I have noticed that I started doing this a couple of years ago. You know, where handrails become important, like you, you want to steady yourself on something if you're going up or down stairs, or, um, you know, if you're getting up off the couch, or, you know, when the hell did that start? Um, I, I'm kind of angry about that. I'm kind of angry that I have gotten to that stage where I feel like I, the balance and I just need that for balance. Ugh. Thank you, mother. Sure. I get it from her. Um, here is a pair of Merrill walking shoes. Uh, I'm hoping 15, $20. I paid three 99 for each pair of shoes and I'm really considering focusing on shoes, uh, as I go forward, just because, um, they're so easy to list so easy to list and they're easy to look at. Like you pretty not much know immediately what condition a shoe is just by looking, you know, at it quickly. Um, this is a pair of Eastland booties, the little rubber, rubber heel in gray. Really kind of cute. Actually, I don't know how popular Eastlands are, but I know when I was a kid, I loved them. Love, love, loved them. Here's a pair of Brooks running shoes. They're not in great and kid right great condition, but but these shoes are expensive. Um and they're in okay condition. So I'll clean these up. Let's see. What size are these? These are seven and a half. I'll clean these up and I like I'm gonna try and get fifteen twenty dollars out of those. Uh 
Um, this is a pair of Born, and I thought these were cute. They are suede Mary Janes. And I know we're going into the warmer season for us, but I don't think I'll care what season it is when I'm buying shoes. I think I just want to buy shoes. And I have this pair myself. I own this pair myself. Um, they're just a pair of brown leather Clarks um, with an insole in them. Let's see if I can get that back in there. What size are these? Eights, it looks like. I'll take the insoles out before I sell them. Um, but that's it, I think. I think that's everything that I got. Again, I think I spent right around $200. Um, and if I, I was thinking if I only get 10 pairs of, sh of $10 for each dress and each pair of, pair of shoes, that's $140 right there. But I know that they'll do much better than that. And then I have all of the other items that I bought as well. So there we have it. There's a haul. Um, in my next video, I'll be doing another uh, part to the series about new resellers. Um, and it's going to be about items that you need to start your business, um, whether it be eBay, Poshmark. Um, obviously, I'm trying to focus on eBay right now be because um, it's a little more complicated than, than like Poshmark or Mercari. Um, so if you could, in the comments below, um, tell me the items that you think that every new reseller must have to get started with their eBay business. Um, not things that make their life easier um, as far as, you know, every size of poly bag, but like those essential things that you have to have to get started because that will help me flesh out my list because I want to make sure that um, I'm not being myopic, like I'm, I'm looking at it from all perspectives. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. If you like this video, like, and subscribe. I'd love to get your comments. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I don't post a lot there. I don't post a lot anywhere, but I would love to get your, get your messages and, uh, I'll share my silly life there as well. Um, and, uh, as, as always, thank you for being uh, here and watching me. And someone said that they really miss my outro. So let's see if I remember it. Uh, the dream works, the dream only works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you the next time.